Today we will read Shri Shri Vira Pakusamanjali, verse, verse number 48. Shri Radha. Oh Devi, Goddess, when will I? most affectionately bring the remnants from Krishna's lotus-like mouth that were given to me by Dhanishta before you. O Devi, Goddess, when will I most affectionately bring the remnants from Krishna's lotus-like mouth well, that were given to me by Dhanishta before you? How wonderful is Sri Raghunata's devotional service in full Swarupa Vesha. On Swamini's order, Tulasi has gone to Nandishvara to serve Mohana her own cooked dishes there. After Mohana has eaten, Mother Jashoda lovingly gives some of his sweet remnants to Tulasi so that she can bring them to Swamini. Dhanishta had secretly mixed some of Mohana's Adhar Amrita lip nectar or food remnants in it. Mohana knew what Dhanishta wanted. So while giving her a hint with his eyes, he spat some food out as if he did not like it. Dhanishta picked that food and mixed it with, some, with that sweet that Jashoda has reserved for Shiradika. Tanishta is responsible for all devotional services and at Nandishwara, as is Kundalata. Both of them are very attached to the loving couple. They know what is on their minds and they render services in secret, unnoticed by others. All this can only be understood by unfolding one's Swarupa. A person who is absorbed in bodily consciousness is not qualified to render these confidential services to Sri Yugala. How deeply Sri Dasa Goswami 
is absorbed in his Swarupa. How vividly he experiences these services. Can the sadhaka continue when he does not even experience a little of this kind of devotional service? How I wasted such a pure life with all kinds of external dealings when will I cry for Swami with a breaking heart? Tomara se ami, ami ara karunoi, toma vine nahi chie nivedhayatai, iha jani devi, tumi more kripakori, nija pada padma, pase koro anuchari. I am yours and no one else's. I cannot live without you. And therefore, I pray to you, O oh Devi, if you know this, then be so merciful and take me to your lotus feet making me your maid servant. My heart is always open for she, who is millions of times dearer to me than my own heart. I must surely get a response from her. To whom shall I speak of my feelings? I don't have anyone else in this world. The desire must be very strong. The activities of the Acharya is the target. Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. Gurudev, do you want to say something? which appear in your heart. So we can see. So there is one nice sentence which Rasamayi read. Can the sadaka continue? Can sadaka continue? We he doesn't even experience a little of this kind of devotional service. Baba is... hmm? Again, repeat that. Can the sadaka continue when he doesn't even experience a little 
of this kind of devotional service. Can Sardaka continue? Baba is asking. Can you mute? Yes, thank you. So this is important question which Baba is putting. Because at least little we have to experience through the words of Acharyas and to relish this devotional service, at least little. And this experiences is the manifestation of Kripa. This experience is result of little desire, but a lot of Kripa. <laughs> and this kind of little experience which Sadaka got because of Kripa is like a treasure. like the treasure which he is holding and hiding in his heart. He knows that this intelligent sadaka knows that this treasure is so valuable that he wants to relish it in his heart, not showing to everyone. Because as much as he is holding deep in the heart, intensity of these feelings becoming more and more and more. And the nature of the treasure is that it wants to be hidden. Every intelligent person who is very rich, he doesn't want to show to others how rich he is. And same thing is with devotees. He wants to hide and to hold this result of Kripa, causeless Kripa, because he knows that he didn't done anything to deserve this Kripa. He is thinking about himself, oh, I wasted my time, I wasted all my life. And I just got these drops of treasure. So I must keep it deep in the heart. I must hide it. Otherwise, I'm afraid I will lose it. I will lose everything. So in that way, he is worshipping Kripa. He is serving this Kripa and he is getting more realizations, revelations, so that he can relish it. So when Baba is saying, can the Sadaka continue when he doesn't even experience a little 
of this kind of devotional service. One of my understanding is that he is trying to inspire every one of us aspirants to pray and to be greedy for a little, little of experience. But when we receive this experience, we have to be very humble. very cautious otherwise maybe we can lose it or who knows what will happen and because of that some tears can appear deep tears from the heart because of appreciation of gift which I received from my Gurudev, from my Ishtadev, from all Vaishnavas. And these tears doesn't have to be seen outside. This is a tears deep in the heart. And when the tears appears outside, sincere devotees usually say, no, 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 I have problems with my eyes. No, no, this is not the tears. Some fly come in my eyes. He doesn't want to say his real condition and to make a show from his own crying. Such kind of consciousness Awareness is important because Radhika, Guru, all Acharyas can have a strong faith in such a person because she, he is showing sincere loyalty and sincere love. And because of that, Radhika is so sure about her maid servant that she can give her such a delicate, it's not easy, Sir, service to bring the sweets which she personally cooked to bring to Krishna because in this kind of sweets is cooked her prema, her mahabhava. And he is giving, she is giving the order to maid servant, please feed him with your hands. It is as I am feeding him. This is very, very confidential. And it's not that anyone can do it. And our Acharyas are trying to help us to get in this mood how to think 
like a manjari, how to feel like a manjari, and how to serve like a manjari. This is the art. It's not something what, what is our fantasy. It's not something what we have to imagine. We have to learn it through the heart, not by knowledge, but through the heart. I am yours, I am your yes, Gurudev, please. Very nice, very good. No, no, good. no. Gurudev, I have one question. Yeah. It's mentioned that Danishta and Kundalata are responsible for devotional service in Nandishwar. And they are not manjaris, they are sakis. Oh. And they are living in Nandishwaris. Vishamsana. Visham Sneha, yes. <laughs> yeah. Can you elaborate more? Because they are also engaged in service, very yeah, secret I, service. They are engaged in service, but they are more close to with Krishna. They, they want to be close with Krishna more. Vishamsreha. And one thing, they also taking care of Radhika because she collect the Jutha in Hindi, I say, Prashant from the lips of the Krishna, Adram Madram, the lips are sweet. Bhaisalam Madram. So everything of Krishna is sweet. So he is collect that sweetness. What Radhika likes. And mixed with sweet. What Mother Jasoda want to send to, to how to make happy to Radhika. But at the same time, living in a Nandeshwar. And Manjali is coming from Radhika place to bring the sweet huh? So this is. Is a one is Visam Sneha who live in Nandeshwar and Adik Sneha who is with Radhika. Adik Sneha. Adik Sneha. Adik means the more love for Radhika. So give this in the hand of. Adiksna, that it will go right place, and Radhika will take the supper now, right night. And then Manjaris will take that prashad from after eating of Radhika. So Manjari is always Adiksna. Always take the prasad of Radhika, not Krishna directly. 
you will not eat it by Radhi. <coughs> Mahaprabhu Bhaktas also they do the Radha Krishna when they offer, then it goes to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when they offer, then Gaudiya Vaishnav take Prasad. When Krishna, Radha, then Chaitanya, then our Guru Manjali is taking Prasad. Then they take prasad. Then it all the prasad is mixed with the main offering. So do prasad. Gautamamuni, please. Gautamamuni, хочеш ли изключити микрофон? Gurudev, does it mean that actually Danishta and Kundalata, like a Sakis, they are doing all this seva to satisfy Krishna because they know that he will be satisfied if Radhika tastes his prasad? Right. For, but they are I won't. Of, yeah. Uh, but at the same time, with some Sneha, more with Krishna, Krishna service. <laughs> no? yeah. I wanted to clarify it. Thank you very much, Guru. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> To understand these things also Kripa needs to be crystal clear on this and to take the center in the right way is also mercy and realizations. I hate Kripa. And to know the reality, <coughs> to realize and live in our sarup is also very special. It's all mercy. When we are not in our sarup, then my false ego controls us. Then we are ping pong. Mercy is not there. We don't know what is good and bad for me. We don't believe what she will do is best for me. That surrender is when come in our life, then mercy we can receive. Mercy really is like a water. Water goes in lower place. No? If you want to bring up, you need pump for that. But to falling in the in the lower easy to flow there. So mercy also flow very easily when we are very small. When we ex live always in the lotus feet of song. We don't want to, to come out from that. Then mercy you can feel it. Ten percent I want to do myself, twenty percent I believe you, ten, twenty, fifty percent I want to do myself, and sixty percent believe you. 
mercy not come. Full, hundred percent. We have to surrender, accept. Sister Mara said, "And why you want to die?" Die now to live. You have to die now to live in that consciousness. That dying means coming out from my all external consciousness to live in the spiritual, our real position. That's the mercy. Die to live. I like this word of Sultan. The day when come for die to leave, it's all respectful, but it's okay. We decide to die to leave, and that practice has to do. It's also practice to do. It's not happening in one day. Dying is also takes time. When I want to die, what I collect from before is very painful to live it. When the body, if somebody is dying, it is very painful to die also. But we have to die from that pain also. To die, to live there. <laughs> and really, is a beautiful who got this realization. They become Siddha. You can see Prabhupada. Our Guru Dev Sri Radha Govindas Bhavaji Maharaj. Perfect. So peaceful. Every time they are living in the mercy and no problem. He never keep money, but when he opened some book and searched some page, what he did, money is coming automatic from books. <laughs> he donate, he not keep himself. This is his nature. Now. In sweet rice, he like to offer always sweet rice. That time in seventy, fifty rupees is very sufficient for sweet rice. What we do now with one thousand rupees, and he do the fifty rupees rice, sweet rice when he feels something to sell. Okay, so he tries offer to Radha Mohan. Fifty rupees he gave, and it's now one thousand rupees costing quantity they're making that time. So it's massive. Is what is happening? Is all mass. And what realization comes, Istanista is also mercy. When Istanista comes, is also mercy that I like Radha to see, to see, feel, and I start believing to him. I start loving to him. I want to serve to him. And then, 
स्वरूप निष्ठा का इज ऑल्सो मस्ट विदाउट इस्ट निष्ठा स्वरूप निष्ठा इज नॉट गुड इफ यू नो फिक्स इन वन इष्ट देव स्वरूप निष्ठा विल नॉट कम एंड वेन यू फिक्स इन इष्ट देव स्वरूप विल कम गुरु निष्ठा विल है Guru Nishtha is not happening before that, my dear. Without Ishta Nishtha and Sarup Nishtha, then what is happening? You know, Sardha, Guru Sardha. Oh, today I like, eh? but he says something eh? is very doubtful to me. <laughs> This doubtful. What I mean, sir, you become kapoot. Every anyone who said think like this, he has to start from A B C D again. Doubtful. The goal become doubtful. The way become doubtful. And when this happens, I, by my practice, when I have a peaceful purity in my heart, is nista, sarup nista. First is nista, nam nista karm. Nam nista, is nista, sarup nista, then guru nista. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh surprise! What Guru Dev gave to me? Impossible happen, impossible to my life. <coughs> then they realize because this was never out of expectation. Our conditional body, how it, they can expect something divine without breaking this conditional position and blockage? Until my blockage is there, is not anything is crystal clear. I can see it. The the blockage is gone. Everything is there. Is nothing is outside. Everything is inside. Only we have to clean it. Cheto darpanam marjanam. We have to clean it with our mantra chanting. When it was clean, everything <coughs> is clear. Any place, any religion. Name is the most important thing. Name of is important, and faith, firm faith is important. Then mercy. Okay. Without that. Kripal, I cannot feel it. Then is a. I listen this word, but is a foreigner to me. I never have experience of the Kripal. Like uh, if somebody not go to Croatia, they are foreigner. They have to visit, then they will understand Croatians' beauty and oceans. And mountains, without going, nobody can understand. So that is, we have to be there to understand that, right? That the must. When we will want to do that, then it happening. It happen. Who has a sutta chitta, pure heart, not blockages there, rather. So, Rapa is the most, most, most important thing to 
flow more and more in realizations. Yeah. This is Kripa that I never had a taste in the name, but name become tasteful. I want to check only two round of ten round, but it happening twenty round. Why? I want to thinking to stop it, but it's not stopping. It's going on and on, same name. I want to change Diksha Mantra, but it's not happening. Again, I'm trying to change other mantra, but again it can go on this way. So this is the now minister. Guru Krupa. Narayan Maharaj say previous Sukriti also was. In the previous life, some Sukriti is there, it also effective. It helps to go. Like you. Gauranga Sunda is not previous Sukriti. Shrasmai is not previous Sukriti. Other born with them. Parent of meat eating and she born in the devotee of parents. Is not Sukriti. She eat only vegetarian food from childhood. She try many things to do, but again come back to the her sanskara. She failed. She was no. She successful, but she has no interest to grow for that. <coughs> she is the most smart drive, cycle, fast driver, motorcycle. Fast driving, best pop singer, whole night singing, pop dance, uh, singing, music. But she become tired with that <laughs> because previous Sukriti is different. It's not previous Sukriti. She comes to make her mother devotee. You can see the previous Sukriti, Rasika. Now she start painting. This is the previous sanskara. This is the point. <laughs> this is previous sanskara. Some nah born with sukriti. Nah sukriti. Nah sukriti lavales. Nah sukriti lavales. Who had the sukriti? They say this. You try. You want to do many things, but you come again in the same point. <laughs> there are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are the secrets. All are if you realize what is Sukriti you got, then you can understand. <clears throat> Andaka Prabhu, you see, he went to Japan. Now he went to Japan, but he is more involved in the bhakti line. He has no time. In the, more and more service come to him. This is previous. <laughs> he went to the Grahastha Ashram to make this a little funny life and <laughs> happy life. But he's not there. What? 
because she is also a devotee and she is the leader of Japan, uh, like a first disciple of Jananda. So she has to serve 24-7, so he has to do this 24-7. So no, no, no escaping time. So, so previous Sukriti, you live in Croatia, you live in Japan, but previous Sukriti goes to the You see? You cannot say that. Gurudev, we cannot that. escape from these Sukritis. No. Previous <laughs> yes. will go with you. I was to start giving classes, uh, traveling. I was never Brahmachari, never I was in temple to learn Brahmachari life. I was in total Grihastha life. I took sannyas in Colombia with Paramadvati Maharaj. And after that, he, he provided me flight to fly. Then one GVC of him, he come, he say, you are flying with one Sigirchi who is translating you. <laughs> I say, yes. So, so how you arrange your ticket? I say, I don't know. <laughs> I shall buy for me and I travel. Then he said, whole life I am traveling with the bus and I have to buy my ticket. And how you travel with the flight? I said, this is in my fortune. What I can do is a previous Sukhati. <laughs> what I can do? I leave everything, but all devotee bring me a sweater, jacket, and I have, a, I, have, I have a collection, and I decide to give to all my T-shirt and jacket. What? What is that? All sweater this time. But I will. I need one too. I have too much. Three, four boxes. I time to. See, when I see, when I go about, my God, this is renounced person and so many. One, two is sufficient. Okay, dhoti, t-shirt is okay because I change every day. But no, I will give. They surprise how I will give. People will ask, I say, you give me, I give. Previous Sukriti, what you can do? Why you bother with yourself? Never bother. When I leave Mughir, I come empty hand. I have never empty hand. <laughs> When I come, I was managing the temple, then I have a money of temple. I no touch now. Then I have a, no problem. So what I will do? The previous Sukriti. Material, spiritual, all previous Sukriti. It's not like this. Honestly, I say you. Why I say? Is it really I experience myself? But some material thing is a collecting you, catching you, not go for the higher score. Be careful with this. So use always in the right direction. Seva for right seva. Neki kar darya medan. Do the service and forget. Brother.
This is Kripa. From where is Karma? Mercy. Go on, go on. See the mercy, the whole subject is the mercy. Whole subject is based on mercy. It's a so big, vast subject that you cannot imagine. You go in details how all is mercy. Huh? And any bad thing happening is also mercy. Is my experience. You want to listen to the history, uh, story. I have an experience. The bad thing happened, and it become mercy. So good and bad is all mercy. You have to believe it, believe it, believe it. Radhe, Radhe. Go on. It's a big subject. No, <laughs> scratch me on this. Go on. It's the biggest subject in our spiritual life. It's a must. It, we cannot live without mercy. I can say. To live without mercy is no no taste for that. No understand meaning of spirituality. Beyond understanding and beyond spiritual life is also beyond understanding what is happening. That mercy, out of understanding to our material mind. Wow, not scratching the subject, it's very deep subject. Oh, pardon. Guru there, but this is most important subject. Huh? What this important? is most important subject. So, if the person starts living in the mercy, he has nothing to do with Take another thing not. Guru Nanak Dev, you listen. You see the some some Gurudwara. They believe in the mercy of Guru Wats, Guru Vani. And they believe it becomes so strong mercy that you cannot understand this mercy. When I go any Gurudwara, you can feel that vibe. Only I go to feel that vibe of mercy, how much mercy in one word. If you believe it, mercy will flow to you. <clears throat> what is the problem that we have doubt in mercy? So mercy not comes to me. The day I will believe, and I will stop my efforts. Mercy will flow like anything. <laughs> Any example I see. Yes. Gurudev, this kind of Sukriti can, li can only be received to the pure devotee, to the Rasika devotees. No. This kind of Sukriti. This kind of Sukriti who surrender. Yes. And who has 100% believe in the mercy, 
they can realize. And they are the Rasikas. They have, one day will become Rasika. Without Rasika, it is not happening. The blockage is in Rasika because the blockage is holding me in material conditional circumstances. This but conditional. We make it conditional to me. Conditional is a condition. Keeping condition and then there is no unconditional surrender. So must missing. Right? <coughs> mercy was mercy. No food mercy, no water mercy, nothing is happening is mercy. I have to be alone mercy, I have to be many person is a mercy, <laughs> no, no, nothing is mercy. I will die is also mercy. Everything is a mercy. I am living is also mercy. Every breath is mercy. In heaven, this is mercy that I can inhale. Or uh, happening because of you. Uh, Gurudev, so I just went. <clears throat> one the uh, whole scripture, Prabhupada, write one word. I love that word. Is a very elevated subject, mercy. Very elevated subject is a relation. Prabhupada says, very elevated subject in page four about relation. And I will say, mercy is also very elevated subject. When relation is there, then you can feel the mercy. <clears throat> so, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. What to say? Yes, I mean, morning time. Uh, Mohini in Russian flower. She is telling that Govinda, uh, Gauranga Sundar is giving class yesterday and she said, even the Radhika is so soft that when is softer than flower. I said this is not doubtful. The sea is softer than flower. <coughs> and the, the smell also more flavor than flower. Flower is some example. But, you know, when she has avishtha time, when she takes bath in the fall of, fall of the mountain, 
and she may go in the center of the fall to take bath, and then she goes for the Rat Krishna meeting, Avishar. That time, she has a flow like a fall. She moves like that. That time, thorns coming. What is a stone? Very pointed stones, thorns, snakes. Say the words, I don't remember <laughs> my English problem. Different no, pebbles, stones, yeah. and uh, small twigs. Yeah. The Radhika, softer than a flower, she don't bother anything. <laughs> this is the power of Anurag. Anurag. This is the beauty. Yes. <laughs> this is this contradictory. On one side, she is so tender and tender, and so in love, so intense that one second she don't want to miss. So she start throwing all the ornaments. Old days she decorate, and why throwing? Because too heavy. Then Manjari say, why decorate? And you are throwing so costly diamond jewelries. Why throwing? He say you can collect. I have no interest. Anyway, I have to, will take time to open this ornaments to meet this. <coughs> so it's useless now. I don't want. How she will go with the ornaments to hug Krishna with the giving pain to him? She starts throwing before me. No meaning. She is more beautiful than ornaments. She bothered for that. But she is bothering that time when she has a feeling of separation from Krishna. Then she is decorating. You see that feeling? <laughs> it's a feeling of ocean. If I will not become river, feeling of river, how I will reach the ocean? We have to be feeling of like a river to be, go to ocean. River can go to ocean. If the river is not spreading out other place, <laughs> what you say, Sanatan said, if many rivers, they, they block in the way, they no reach to ocean. What to do? This happened. Yeah. So these are the mercy. When we realize it, we want to be develop our feeling, feeling. Feeling give you rasa. What is rasa? Rasa means nectar. If no feeling, how you will go to nectar? Rasa is Krishna. And feeling is Radha. When they meet Rasa and feeling, that is the Radha Krishna Mila. Feeling has to be met with Rasa, is it? Or not? This is nature of the feeling. <laughs> to meet with Rasa. Why bother if they meet with eyes to eyes, <laughs> lips to lip, body to body? The feeling is a feeling meeting to Rasa. Mm. <laughs> See that? Everything is divine. It, everything is beautiful. And 
and without feeling there is no spirituality. He is all religious. What do you say? Religious. Religious. Some rituals. An ocean without waves is boring. Yes. Ocean without waves are boring. Waves need in ocean. Right or not? You will never go to ocean if there is no waves. He said, people said, this ocean is not, not a right place to go. Because there is no waves out there. What do you say? <laughs> waves are the Radhika. Waves are the Radhika. And ocean is Krishna. They have to be. The waves has to come from the ocean and again go to the ocean, again come from ocean and go to the ocean. This is the nature of the waves. And ocean. It's a natural. You don't want to see natural, you want to be unnatural. <laughs> this is really just practice. And the spiritual practice is to be a natural, realize nature, realize yourself that you come for something and you have to do the something what you come for. That is the goal of life. Not come for the some small fun thing. It's, it's no big major, major thing for the major minor is no meaning. Not, thank you, thank you, my dear. Sorry, not to describe me. Yeah, but I use here. Yeah, I'm a sick person. I have to listen. I have to. Uh, I need rest. Thank you very much, Gurudev. We have to scratch you. I'm sorry. We are your cows. We need your milk. You when you scratch milk, you drink Very nice. I drink that. Believe me, you are also one cow who give nice milk. <laughs> and Gyananda also, I like to listen. All I listen, I listen. My I also like to listen. Everyone I like to listen. I'm proud of all of you. Mani se gotto voi. More nicely than me. Gurudev, <laughs> when you scratch gold, it's even more shiny. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing so we are scratching that. your golden heart. We are scratching. I have nothing much to do. Thank you. You are the Shakti of my Goranga When you sit near that, he becomes more powerful. <laughs> Radhe. <laughs> Yeah, that's...